Hello, I am Julie Ranti, the Associate Principal Flutist of your Toronto Symphony Orchestra. For my Toronto Star musical moment, I've chosen to play for you today the first significant piece of solo flute music written for the modern flute. The instrument you see today in the orchestra, made of metal, in my case, a little platinum and a little silver, lots of keys, is really only about 150 years old. W.C. Syrinx, written in 1913, was incredibly avant-garde. It broke with the traditions of the 18th and 19th century music. There's no real key, no real tempo, and at least a listener in kind of an uncertain musical world. Debussy's new impressionist musical language manages to tell a very evocative story from Greek mythology. The god Pan has fallen in love with the chaste nymph Syrinx. In order to hide from Pan, Syrinx runs into the river and the water nymphs at the river help her to hide by turning her into hollow water reeds. When Pan hears the wind blowing across the reeds, he decides that he wants to make a panpipe to call Syrinx. He goes to the river and he cuts down the water reeds and in doing so, kills her. Thank you for sharing this Toronto Star musical moment with me. All of us at the Toronto Symphony can't wait to play for you again.